G'day guys, Greg here. Well, I've got to tell you, it is a horrible day today. It's raining cats and dogs outside, and well, I felt like something a little bit warm to warm my soul from the inside out. And well, what better dish to serve up than a nice corned beef silver side? You can put it on in the morning. Mate, when you get home from work, it's ready. Now this one, I'm using ginger beer instead of, say, water. So uh, it's very interesting recipe and it's only four ingredients. So let me show you the other three. So for this, all I'm using is some corned beef silver side. I've got an onion. You'll need some cloves. And I've got some ginger beer. Now you can use the expensive ginger beer, but I wouldn't. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit too sweet. So I've gone the El Cheapo one. It'll just make it a little bit less sweet. But if you've got a real sweet tooth, uh, use the more expensive one like Bundaberg. Anyway, this is so easy to do. First of all, you need to take out your silver side and give it a bit of a wash. Because it can be covered in sort of gunky stuff. So get that out. Just give it a rinse under the tap. And you can chuck that straight in your slow cooker. Along with your onion, which I just cut into bits, you can break it up if you want. You'll need uh, four cloves. <laughs> that's not four. That's about four. Or five. And now we just add in the ginger beer until it's covering the silver side. Close enough to no one ever. I'll just add a little bit more. I did buy two bottles just in case. It's only a dollar a bottle anyway. Put the lid on. And I want to slow cook. Well, I could go high temperature, I guess. Six hours? Yeah, that's about the right time too. Six to eight hours, but it'll be ready then. And well, I'll come back when it's ready. We'll carve it up and tuck on in for the old taste. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See you then. All right, well, the six hours is up. Oh boy, tell you what, it's been a painful wait for the old Grego. Here it is. Hopefully all cooked. So let's get some on a plate. We'll carve it up and give it a taste. Okay, so now I've got to figure out which way's the grain. Because you cut with the grain and it's easier. I'm guessing that's against the grain because it did that. So if I turn it this way and, well, cut this way. Oh yeah. That's a much nicer, much cleaner cut. Oh, and it looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So we'll put some this delicious corned beef on a plate. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm gonna have it with some mashed potato today. Do love my mashed potatoes. And, well, a bit later I'll, you know, Tuck into some mustard with it. Mustard your choice. Yeah, the only mustard I've got is hot English, so. <laughs> oh, plus that American mustard man. But this American mustard man works better with this corned beef. I'm excited. Definitely got a ginger flavour about it. And the ginger sort of adds that tangy spice to it as well. It's not going to be for everyone this, but if you like your ginger beer and you like your ginger flavours, pretty sure you're going to like this. Especially with some mustard or some white sauce. Amen bro. Anyway, there's something else for you to try if you're interested in this sort of thing. 
Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I cook something. See you then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is great.